Hello, in this video we will be looking at some general features in your apparel printing software that haven't been covered in other videos, such as archiving, view raw data, Gmail, and other options. We will start by looking at how to improve the preview displayed. The default gives you a low quality preview that is fast to create and good for sizing and positioning. But if you wanted a better quality, you can go to Tools, Options, and in the Preview Options tab, you can select the preview quality. Selecting very high will create a higher resolution preview. This will take longer to create, but give you a better looking preview image. Note the shortcut available under right click to force the preview to be recreated. You can do this whenever you make changes and wish to regenerate the preview. As you can see, using very high quality takes away a lot of the jaggies and gives you a much higher quality preview image. Archive to disk allows you to save a job and all its settings to an external file. Archive is available either under the jobs menu or from the right click context menu. This is a useful feature if you expect repeat business for this job at some time in the future, but don't know when and don't want to keep it in your queue. Keeping hundreds of jobs in lots of queues can eventually slow down the operations of the software. So if you're not going to be printing an image for a while, it's a good job to archive it until you need it. The location of the archived jobs is in the tools, options, under storage and archiving. If you want to choose a different location, you can simply browse to select a new folder. You can also change your storage location for all your queues and jobs in this window. For example, if you had a big second drive that you wanted to use for storing all your queues and jobs, you can select a new location to be used. But only use local drives. Using network drives will be very slow, and if there are any reasons unavailable, it can cause errors in the software. View raw data is a very powerful feature that allows you to check the pixel data that will be sent to your printer. It's not something you need to use with every job, but it's very useful when trying to diagnose a problem. View raw data is only available once the job has been spooled. The option to view the raw data is available from the right click context menu. In view raw data, you can see a preview of how the pixel data will appear on the t-shirt. The color panes icon will open a window that will allow you to see all the layers, print passes, and all the printed channels on each layer. The substrate color at the bottom emulates the shirt color. You can turn off layers. For example, turning off my second layer will just allow me to view my underbase. I can also check for things like choke on my white underbase. To do this, I'm going to change my substrate color to white. Then I'm going to display just one of my white channels and I'm going to display it as pink, along with my color data pass. I can now zoom in and turning my color layer on and off, see the applied choke on the white ink. This is large text, but if it was very small text, the choke can cause distortions in the text, and if it's very ex small, excessive choke can cause parts of the characters to disappear. Using view raw data will help you see where the problem is, so you can change the settings on jobs as required. Costing is another useful feature that will help you with cost estimates for each job, as well as ink usage. You first need to set up your costing in each queue. Go to Queue Properties and under Other, click 
on the costing tab. We can now enter the values for material costs. This is the cost of each t-shirt. So we will select this as a per unit for garments. A surface treatment, in this case it would be the pre-treatment. Again, it's per unit. Black ink costs per litre. Colour ink costs per litre. And white ink costs. We don't use any clear ink for garment printing. We can put in an ink contingency to allow for things like head cleaning, labor costs, again that's per unit, taxes. You can also add time, although this isn't included in the cost, it's just for reference. You can also choose to automatically record all the costing to a standard delimited format file that can be used in spreadsheets and your databases. Once costing has been set up, you can view the costs of a job once it has been spooled. Once spooled, use the right click context menu and select the properties for the page contents. Click Other and Costs and you will see all the information on costing and ink usage. You can also do a quick print of this information and if you haven't selected in the queue to automatically save this as an SDF file, you can do so with a click of a button. Most, but not all, devices support the printer properties, which you can access via the shortcut icon for printer properties. This dialog will depend on your printer, but typically shows your remaining ink levels, as well as buttons for doing things such as nozzle checks and head cleans. Under the file menu is an option to get jobs from Gmail. This option only supports Gmail and not any other email servers. Enter your Gmail address and the password. and the frequency at which you want to check the account for new jobs. Any attachments of the right format, JPEG, PSD, TIFF, VPS, etc. found will be downloaded and added to the last queue. If you enter the name of a specific queue in the subject of the email, then the job will be added to that specific queue. This is an easy way of getting jobs from handheld devices such as mobile phones and tablet computers. Once a month, it's worth checking for printer updates. This may be new print modes or updates to the driver. To check for printer updates, go to Devices, Manage Devices, and click on the Check for Online Updates icon. If it finds any updates, it will display an asterisk by the printer version, and the Update Printer icon will be displayed. Click on this, would then update the printer package. Your license file can also be updated from the help update license file. In general this doesn't get updated very often but if for example you purchase some of the optional plugins once the payment has been processed all that would be required to enable the new features is to update your license file. New printer devices can be added this way as well, as new printers are made available. Should you need some help for either training or support with an issue, there is remote support built into your software. Select Help, Remote Support, and a tech support dialog will be displayed. Providing the ID and password to your technical support contact 
will allow them to take control of your computer for either training or support related issues. Finally, if you are having a problem and are not sure if it's software or the printer, there's an easy way to find out. First, go to Manage Queues and select File as your output. Then, print your job to a file. You can now output the raw printer data to your printer using the Tools Direct to Port feature. Just select the output port for your printer and drag and drop the file you created onto this window and it will print. You can then send the file as a zip to your dealer and ask the dealer to print the same file. See if it has the same issue and determine if the problem is software or related to the printer or a pretreat problem.